Hello everyone, my name is James from Digging for Deals. I didn't do a vlog because I was hurting a lot and I, we randomly got like 30 or more things to list, so the past few days I've been busy listing things. Been also trying to mess with this portable monitor so I can get my OBS onto that and then I can watch myself easier. But um, I don't think I ever went to our eBay, I might have. But this is um, what I use for right now, because the Digging for Deals one is way too new that I can only list five things. Um, but it's JM Wallen. If anybody wants to check it out, we have a lot of things listed. Um, I'll go over some of those now. And to prove that we're actual people, we have 416 that have not sold. I think we've relisted a lot of them, but... I got Spy Camera, I know we list, relisted these Xbox um, we're going to probably get rid of. Dad might be using the Moringa Powder, I don't know, because I honestly don't think anybody's going to want it, but who knows, and he wants to do stuff and get healthier, so which we probably should. We might um, do a lot for the wedding toppers. Country roads are removed because um, I believe Dad wanted to give it to Grandma or something. I don't remember, or it re relisted itself. I'm not entirely sure. I think he wanted to give it to Grandma, but other than that, we also have a Hitachi um, Desk Star 7K 3000. It's a three terabyte. Exter well, internal hard drive. It might be external. You can probably turn it external, but uh, one of the people that actually built my computer said that for to even want to sell this, you would um, need to like test it and make sure there's nothing bad on it. Use an external hard drive system and then wipe it like 30 times. So instead of using it, I think we're gonna sell it. <laughs> I mean, if this stays up for a few months, I might consider a giveaway for it. So I believe it was like quite a bit of money for one. Let's look it up. I wasn't entirely prepared because I was gonna at yeah, 25 refurbished, refurbished. What about new? What about a new egg? 97 new, but I have no clue because we got this from the Don't Miss Out it. So it could be complete junk or something that somebody could fix and sell for a little bit of money. Um, but yeah. And I also don't know if it would go with my computer because my computer's newer and I don't know when this was made. But we have one that listed. But because I got sidetracked, um, I was gonna do a live stream. But apparently, you have to wait 24 hours to do a live stream. So I'm just doing a few videos. Um, spy camera, wireless. We did test this. The um, camera, I believe, is on this side. It's on the side, so you have to like point it in a special way, but it does work. Um, we're asking $37 for it. I can look and see how much it is. Make sure I didn't like list it wrong or something. $49. Well, 50, maybe 51 for fees. But I mean, it's much cheaper with us. And where's the picture showing? Yeah, so you gotta plug it in like this, and then it gets everything. I think it does both sides, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, you also have to get a app, which it doesn't tell you on this, I don't believe. But you have to get this phone app, and allow it to use your internet or something, which is really weird. And then it will be able to broadcast and whatnot. Let's close out these. 
So I'm already done with them. Oh, this one. Uh, we actually picked this one up a few weeks ago. I have the exact same, except for the pink. Mine, I think, is black on the interior, and it's a large. But I knew how much this would be because of me having the same coat, pretty much. Mine was a military jacket uh, made for winter, and this one looks pretty much the same. Um, we're asking 35 for it. I believe it was like 50 something. If I would have to guess, 60. So yeah, you'd save money with us. 66.59. We try and keep 75, but I mean, it's the end of the winter season. So maybe somebody will buy it, but I don't know. And I don't really want to have things just lying around junking up our house. I mean, I try and keep it out of the uh, the video because I don't want it to look trashy. But I have a lot of stuff in my room. It's all on the floor. It's not good. Um, we have these, which we've gotten five offers for these. I didn't even know what they really were. They're uh, Gwyn Kyron Crystal Whiskey Glasses. I think we found those at the outlet, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, they might have been the ones that, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think we got these at the outlet. But we're asking 29 for them. Somebody already made a bid. Um, people have gave us offers of like $10, 14 I think one did 22 But it's like, why... We had a, I think, a twelve dollar bid. Why not just bid? <laughs> I mean, seriously, why not just bid? Because you're either gonna do a bidding war, or you're going to win and it be. Oh hey, it's another one. I think theirs is more expensive than mine, though. No. Yeah, it is. Uh, thirty-seven thirty for a uh, six-pack. So, that's, that's not too bad. 29 We'd miss out on like $6 profit, which... That's not bad. Considering we more likely spent 7 on them. And then we have to allocate shipping, which for a box like this... I'd say it might be like $10 shipping. So, $9. We might lose out on a dollar for shipping, but... Still make money overall. I mean, and then somebody can enjoy their whiskey thing. Uh, this has been listed, honestly, for like six months. It's an owl figure. It's going to be really hard to ship. But, I mean, I can't find it anywhere. And it's a really good owl figure. We found a Don't Miss Outlet. Or not Don't Miss Outlet, Goodwill. Been there so many times, that's what I think it is. Um, but we can't really put many, like, a description on it so people aren't really seeing it. Because I don't know what it is. <laughs> I've looked at several owl figures and I can't find it. And I really hope I'm not repeating any of these. I went through and I made a list of almost everything that I've done. But... More than likely, I have a few handful that are relisted because I just don't see you. Okay. We got this, which I took pictures of this tomorrow. You can see I'm using a light box now, which I don't know if I'm doing that quite right. But, I mean, it's in there. <laughs> uh, Jesseon, it's a Nutra blender. So I took pictures of all the parts. And it has the box. I believe the box looks fine too. We're asking thirty dollars starting bid or fifty-two dollars. I believe these things go for like eighty. But I like to start low on bidding just in case people see them. Yeah, sixty-four for that guy. Eighty-nine. So I mean, again, I'm fine with just making money as long as like 
we do have to pay for gas and whatnot, and I put twenty dollars shipping because this is gonna be pretty heavy. So, uh, fifty bucks, which saves them like quite a bit, or they could just buy it now and do seventy-two, which would still be less than buying a brand new one. Why do I keep clicking on that one? It's weird. It's like I want to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, we got this digital scale uh, from Greater Goods. Uh, we powered it on it looked kind of interesting if it doesn't sell we'll probably use it but hopefully it sells it's this one okay take me to Amazon then why well, have a redirect link that's stupid but it's 57.49 video and whatnot of it Apparently there's some promotions of it too. Save 25%, 25%. Huh. That's interesting, but again, ours is like 40 and that's 50, so you'd save 10 bucks. Uh, surface stocking station. Um, we didn't really have a Surface Pro to do this, so I just went on like if it had lights and the condition of it. Um, I believe, yeah, I put open box because I don't really know. I mean, it's it might have been used, it might not have, but it was wrapped up and everything. So, it doesn't look like it has wear and tear or anything on it. So, $40, 25 shipping. And it goes for... This one's going for 169 on the Microsoft Store. 85 though is what it is. So you'll save what is that? 15 bucks, something like that. Uh, these I kind of figured they wouldn't sell, but I got I, I like puzzles, so I made them, and then I bought some more to sell. <laughs> but I mean they're. They were not that hard of puzzles. The hardest one probably was the sea dragon, or the moorfish, moorish, moorish. That's a weird one. Uh, read that one's name. And then frogfish was easy. Clownfish was easy, but I believe they're only twenty-five bucks. So this probably we could lower down to like starting bid of seven dollars, and then shipping. So you'd pay fifteen. Like, with shipping and whatnot, buy it now and whatnot is a little too high, in my opinion. Because, also, I can kind of understand the whole... Because I took this on my bed because it was white. But it kind of looks like a trashy pick, so I might need to take another one. Uh, more than likely, but I believe these are 25. I can look it up and see... Twenty two, twenty, yeah, it's just twenty two ninety nine. We need to lower the price of that quite a bit. Which we probably will do later on. But I don't know. Um, we got these wax figures while we were at the outlet. I didn't know what they were for a while, and then Dad said, oh, maybe they're Harry Potter, and I then I looked and I saw Ravenclaw, which Ravenclaw is a Harry Potter house, same as, uh, that one's hard to read, <laughs> Slytherin, obviously, what is there, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, One more, and I can't think of it right now. And then, I don't know if that one's Harry Potter or not. And that one, I don't think is Harry Potter. But it's just a stamp set. And we have two stamp... Yeah, two stampers. I was making sure that the picture wasn't weird. Uh, 
I believe they were only like 20 so again we might be pricing a little bit over but yeah 14.98 but then it comes with another one that was the S one which was like $20 by itself like this S stamper was like $20 by itself so $34 and you're paying 18 and 4 so 22 versus 34 you'd save quite a bit I mean I've always kind of wanted to do wax seals and stuff but I never really had the I guess motivation to do it because I mean you have to find the right wax and everything else yeah I don't know and who would I send the wax letters to I mean I don't really send much to people I mean I could, guess I could do them in like thank you notes that'd be kinda cool um we got a three-in-one wireless charging pad why did I put sixty dollars and forty-five Surely this one isn't that much. Let's go to Apple, see what they have. Wow! Okay! I don't remember you, but apparently you go for a lot. If that's what it is I think that might be what it is yeah it's this one 102 Wow that's cool um, yeah if you need a charging station I believe it's for a it's a fast charge for iPhone AirPods and Apple watch Probably should have took it out, but it was, if I remember right, in the box still, and the box was sealed, so I didn't really bother opening it. But I mean, if it's 105, your starting bid 45 to 6 days left, and nobody's bothered to bid on it, and $60 um, buy an out price, so 65 versus 102. <laughs> You'd save a lot of money. And we can get a lot of... Well, compared to what we spent, a lot of money. But... Because everything's $7, so we... Gas is $7, so it's like $14, but... $7 and uh, per drive, and then we get a lot of items. So... Yeah, I'd say like 14 bucks is what we spent, and then we'd make... Shipping... Probably ten. Ah, no, no, no. This is probably a seven forty-five. It's a small box. Um, it's not like video game small where it's four fifty, but it's a small box. Unless I can fit in an envelope, but I don't think it would fit. Um, I can just tell by the paper. But let's say eight dollars. So we'd lose three to two fifty on shipping, and we'd get quite a bit. I don't feel like doing the math. Uh, Dad picked this one up. He was gonna sell it to his coworkers, which I took pictures of it working. Which maybe I should do that for all of them, but they're um they're all working. They're all lit up. They uh, alternate though, so you see like the alt is not lit up in this one but it's lit up in this one it still works but we have thirty dollars starting bid and price is forty five and then it has nine dollars shipping which probably nine dollars shipping if i find a good enough box for it probably nine dollars shipping um, so let's look this one up Forty-eight. What's this one? Fifty-nine. It's a red switch, I believe. Yeah, it's a gaming keyboard. 
So it's $59.99 and we're asking $45 or $30. $9. So even if you buy it now, you'd save a dollar. But I suggest on most of our things to leave a bid because we don't have many people even remotely leaving bids and you'll get it for a great difference than just buying a new one online. We test everything three times, once at the outlet, to make sure we even want to buy it. And mom tests it, then I test it. So everything's been tested. If they aren't tested, like we um, had to ship back a, what was it, a tool belt? Because Amazon did the, uh, or eBay did Carhartt Brown and just put it in as a Carhartt item, which kind of sucked. But, eh, things happen. Uh, this one I kind of was proud of. Um, I used the light box for it, and it's a game called Shadows in the Forest. It was a game I wanted to play. I saw it for a long time. I think it was made in, like, 2015? Something like that. It's, it's a while ago. Let's find out its price. No, it's not worth much. It's worth 1992. When was it made? Not gonna tell me, huh? That's a bummer. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't say. But yeah, see their little picture? Which, we have everything. But, um, this is my picture of it. Just almost how they have it, except for I didn't take it like sideways like they have it. But I was really proud of this one, and then I took pictures of us having everything. We may be missing one, but I also found one and put it in there. So if it is missing that little tiny piece that's just an extra, we'll probably knock off like a dollar or two. But it's $10 and $5 shipping. So you'd save $4, which isn't bad. And it's an overall fun game from what I see. Um, pretty much you roll and then you move the lantern. And then wherever the shadows are, if uh, the light touches any one of these, then um, the person controlling the light takes off the mask of the creature and then the goal for the creatures is to get everybody in one spot which it's like a four person game and you can play uh, three people on the hiding it's basically hide and seek the board game which is kind of interesting okay. we got this it's a new winter uh, FJ3378 wireless weather station which we did test a lot of times actually and it works it looks exactly like the profile you have to program it though um, we don't have batteries in it but we did test it just heads up this little remote needs batteries and I think this needs batteries too either that or it was charged in I've tried I've tested a lot of things and listed so I don't really know I don't remember anymore. So I can see how much it is. It's $42.99 off, off of $49.99. So you save $7 with them, but for us, you, you'd you pay $38 if you bought it now, and it's considerably less. So. This was another one I was proud of because I found this at a Goodwill. I think we only paid like $8 for it, but it's a collector's. I mean, it was shocking to me that nobody picked up this Air Hogs. Um, I didn't test it, so because we got it from Goodwill and because I couldn't pry off this uh, Air Hogs thing and I didn't want to break it. Um, but either... Even if, that's why it's listed so low at $50. Um, 
it's still a collectible. There's a little bit of... Why do you always do that? There's a little bit of wear on it, but not that much. I mean, you can still make out that it's from Star Trek. I mainly got it for Dad, but then I started looking up the price, and I'm like, wow, that's a lot of money. Because other people have it. Oh, hey. Is this the actual... Wow. Uh... Amazon? Sure. Oh, I thought they had a page for it, and I'm like, that's cool. But I mean, even this Star Wars set is 129. So you'd be better off just taking the bid. Cause where is it? Oh, hey, you're selling it for 36 too. That's cool. You have a much better listing of it than mine. Authentic sounds. Batteries not included. I should include batteries not included in my things. And 119. Yeah, so I mean. 38. For this one, apparently, at Walmart. If it's out of stock. I mean, it, it looks exactly like it. So it's. Low ball 38, high is 110. Yeah, 134 is what this guy is asking. Oh, that's weird. I've never messed with quantity because we've never had. Well, I can't say that because we we're getting to one. But yeah. We're asking, let me get rid of these. We're asking $50. If you give us an offer of 30, I'd probably take it, but we are going to test this again. Make sure it works. If it doesn't work, I'd definitely take 30. If it works, I would want the 50. Because I don't want somebody to just go around and take the 30 and sell for 110. And they make a lot of money off of me, even though... I, I mean, they could make money off of me still by buying it for 50 and selling it for 110 but I'd feel a little better about it, because I at least got a little bit. Um, but then there's the Skylanders a lot, which I bought these from Goodwill. This was one of the few first uh, items I bought. Oh, Legendary Trigger Happy, Trigger Happy... I did look up all of these, and some of them were expensive, but they were mainly five dollars ish each. There's all sorts of different ones. I was gonna use this for like Dungeons and Dragons, but um, we don't really play in person. I doubt many people are gonna see this one. Unless people share this video, because I can't really put in all of these characters and all of their names. So I can't do justice to the Skylanders uh, listing, you know. So hopefully people share this, but it's up to you. And I also can't pop up a thing, because that would, it's already been what? 30 minutes, which I was going to stream anyway, so that's fine. Um, but I don't want to go through and find the Skylanders page and find all the names of them and look up the names, because that would take forever. Oh, this is the Mophie thing. Did I grab this twice in the video? I guess I did. Oh, no, I just didn't get rid of the Amazon. Oh, okay. Well, let's see what else there is. Right there. 
Okay, that's a sell page. And my selling page. Yeah. Some people I've seen have like 10,000 or something, 90 day total. It's like, how do you do that? But if you ask questions in some groups, they get ignorant, which is really stupid. Especially if you're trying to promote your listings, they get really stupid. I'll go slow so you guys can look at all of them. Uh, video games, I'm more than likely going to drop them and not even relist them. This guy, he liked his microphone. It was a good microphone. I think it's actually a better one than mine. Paid 150 for it, which is astounding because I didn't have many pictures for it at all. And it was used, and he paid that. I don't know why. But Omerta sold. I believe we lost like two dollars on because of shipping. Uh, the Carhartt messed up, but we still. He paid like half of what it was worth, so we still made money. Um, there's a lot of things that we have listed and they've just not got any traffic. Nobody looking at them, nobody doing anything. Uh, we might make a... Since I have it going, like tomorrow... I should be able to do a live stream. I'm not going to though. I'm gonna wait till maybe Saturday and I'll do a live stream while we're going through things. If I can figure that out. I'm also, can I add a scene? Maybe I'll save that for the next, next video. I've been working on a new logo instead of the little Big X at the left side corner. It's kind of hard going though. I mean, I showed it to Dad and he didn't even know what it was. <laughs> Thought it was like a game controller or something. But anyways, like, share, and subscribe please.